Now, that will apply, that was mine, that will apply to almost every search you'll ever do in NC Live, CycleIt, PsychInfo, uh, CINAHL, any of those databases because they generally have the same type of search strategy applied. It's expected that you're going to do some type of Boolean search. So, <coughs> one caveat to that. When you're looking for books, you won't go in that, that in depth. Why would you not go that in depth? Because books cover more information, right? Okay, looking at your, your um, PDR has lots of different drugs. Your primary care has lots of different uh, information. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a, just a basic search, go find the book, and then browse the shelves. Because why, why is it imp so important for us to shelve our books according to call numbers? It puts all the subject areas together, right? Remember that from ACA 111, 115, 112, whatever. Um, that's why we shelve things with call numbers, because it keeps all the subject area together so you can browse. Now, but let's go to the books, and we're going to go to, does anybody have a topic? Topic? Cardiovascular. What now? Cardiovascular. Okay, let's see what we got. So I'm just going to type in a basic search. This is going to take you to, please work, we've had a little timeout issues. This is going to take you to a separate uh, <coughs> database, hopefully, or not. If this doesn't work, I can show you screenshots later. But basically what this is going to do is it's going to take you to a separate, separate database and then we're going to be able to search that database. Because remember, these databases are not housed on the internet. You use the internet to get there. Much like Hardee's, you use 74 to get to Hardee's, right? It's not sitting in the middle of 74. Same thing with databases. Okay, we timed out. We'll go back to that. Let's move on to databases because I can apply the same information. Same search strategy. So we're going to go to, notice I clicked on online databases. I want to type in cardiovascular. C -A, I can't see the screen. C-A-R-D-I-O-V-A-S-C-U-L-A-R, right? Yeah. Okay, right. So I've got one term. Blowing it out, seeing what's out there. Why do you want to start large? Remember what I said? Because it's easier to trim down. It's easier to narrow your search versus trying to say, okay, I'm not finding anything. Now, how am I going to think outside this box and find some information? Notice again, it's taking us to a separate site. Now, when you search from that search area, it's going to every database that we have access to through NC Live. It's not specifically targeting any kind of medical database. It's targeting medical business, every database that we have access to. Now, blow this up a little bit. Notice it's going, it's, we've not narrowed it by any kind of geographic information, uh, timeline, anything. You also see that we have HTML full text, which is just like if you typed it on your computer. We're going to see some, there's a PDF full text showing you that this is an academic journal versus a newspaper. It's giving you enough information just on this screen so that you can decide, do I want to look at this or not? Another thing, you'll see a lot of people say, well, read the abstract, and that'll tell you what's in the, in the uh, article. And that's true. But when you start doing a lot of research, this is your first cut. This is where you make the first strike. You're going to look at the title. OK, it's got cardiovascular in it twice, talks about abnormal changes. I'm interested in that. Go down to the subjects, therapeutic use, diagnosis, methodology. Those are also target words I'm interested in. So this is one I may save for later, or I may go ahead and look at it. As I go down, um, I'll look at other ones as well. So if this is one that I want to look at, um, I'm going to click on the PDF full text. Okay, did you notice that it was a periodical, by the way? Some of the, one of the things that you're going to have to be very careful of 
is while I state over and over and over again, look at academic journals, look at academic journals, there are also in medical assisting what's called trade journals. And those are written by people in the field. So while they may not be considered technically scholarly, because they're trade journals written by experts in the field, they are still valuable. So, you know, if, check them out. I mean, I wouldn't use Time, Newsweek, and all that garbage. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, but definitely, if it's in your subject area, look at it, check it out. If it can be backed up with bibliogra bibliographic information in the article or supported from other academic articles, then it's usable. If you're not sure, who do you ask? Your professor. Okay? Also, this takes time. Notice on the side that it's also giving you in, uh, full text index so that you can go to specific things. So this looks like it's more like a um, longer than just a standard article. When you come, okay, while we're waiting, when you come to the library or the Academic Success Center and you're of a mind to print while you're here, please be careful and look at the number of pages that these articles and conference proceedings have because we had somebody today print out 140 some odd pages. Oh, they didn't realize, they honestly had no idea that it wasn't an actual article. They didn't look, they didn't check. So if, you know, they would have had to pay for it if we'd known who had printed it out. So just be very, very careful and check. Now this tells you that it's, um, tells you acupuncture and electrotherapeutics. Journal, volume 39, this is telling you it's about 30 pages. So I would definitely email this to myself before I would print it out. But it's giving you all the information. Also, it's validating. It's validating the authors. And you'll find this in a lot of your academic journals and a lot, and some, and a lot of your trade journals that are way up there. So definitely check that out. So that's just validating your information. Now the abstract, what is that? Just the facts. Something, it's telling you what's in the article. It's not making any judgments. It's not your summary, what I'm asking you to do. What I'm asking you to do is not an abstract. I'm asking you to read through it and give me some of the basic information about it, summarizing what is this article about. Boom. This just tells you what's in it. There's a difference. They're, they're including statistical facts. I want you to, to look at it in, as, a, as a consumer versus an academic, so to speak. Give me just the basic information. Um, and as you can see, this, this abstract is a little bit longer than your average one, but here again, you're seeing all the technical information. Um, L upper lip and third segment middle fingers, clinically most reliable changes easily to identify. That's the language that you want to learn to write in and gives you key terms. Now, how do you read these articles? Let me give you a secret. Read the conclusion first, then read the introduction. That's going to help you set your mind up what's going to be in the article, and then you can read the rest of it. Because I'll be honest with you, some of this stuff is over my head. When I'm, and I'm in school, so when I have assignments to where I have to read academic articles, I read the conclusion first, then I read the introduction, and then I work on the middle. It makes life a lot easier. Okay? Because what is the conclusion? It puts a bow on it, doesn't it? To summarize everything that stated earlier. Exactly. So that's, that's basically what you're looking for. So what am I going to be reading? Okay, now I understand what I'm going to be reading. I know what to look for. All right. So here again, this is another clue that's an academic. It's going to have a lot of figures and drawings and things like that that help illuminate points <laughs> or illustrate points that the article is trying to make. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, great. Now... I'm going to skim through this a little bit because, of course, I had my times wrong and I do apologize again for that. But let's go back to our results list. I want to show you something. 